Hey YouTube, how's it going? Mevlin back here again with another Alchemy Stars video, and for this one, I'll be taking Nails into Ascension 3. Now, the reason why I'm building Nails should be kind of obvious. I just recently made a showcase for Victoria, and I want to see if Nails is going to make Victoria shine even more. Now, I do think Victoria by herself is already such a good character. She does so much damage and does a little bit of healing with her active and her equipment skills, so I don't think Nails is needed to make Victoria work. But if Nails can make Victoria shine, and if Nails is also a good character by himself, then he might have a spot on my team. If Nails only work because he has bleed in his kit, I don't think that's enough because uh, Victoria's bleed synergy is not very good. Most of it is coming from the equipment skill, and I don't think Victoria's equipment skill is very good. So for Nails to have a spot on my team, he not only has to apply bleeds to the enemies, he has to be a good hero by himself. And in this video, we're going to see whether that is the case or not. So for skills, let's start off with the chain combo. He is a true sniper at heart. The chain combo is similar to Vice, but the downside is that because he's only a four star character, he does not have access to tier three of his chain combo. So his tier one deals damage to the two nearest enemies. Meanwhile, his tier two deals damage to the three nearest enemies. His equipment increases his stats, his attack and defense proportional to how much HP he is missing. It starts off at 10% increased attack and defense, but this does go all the way up to 25% increased attack and defense when you max his equipment. Now, if you guys don't know, 25% increased attack because of how damage gets calculated in this game, that's actually a lot of increase. For his active skill, there's a couple things I want to note here. The first one is that he sacrifices 15% of your total current HP, not just Nails' HP. It accounts for everyone's HP put together, and it takes 15% of your current HP. And even though it says that it deals damage within 9 square tiles, this does not deal tile damage. It deals single damage on medium or large size bosses, so this is not a detonator ability. And lastly, uh, it inflicts one stack of bleeding, but if you click on the one stack, this actually deals more than one stack, depending on how much HP Nails has lost. Uh, in fact, the first time you use this, you will actually get two stacks. Don't know how uh, that, that works, to be honest. Don't know why I get two stacks when I've only lost 15%, but I guess it's one plus fit one more for every 15% nails has lost. As a four star, it's really easy to get a max breakthrough and he benefits a lot from these HP and defense nodes anyways that this is gonna be mandatory, uh, especially the last one. The last one will make your active skill preemptive. And once you get him to Ascension 3, he's gonna get 50% increased HP every time you use his active skill. This is actually a really nice addition. To be honest, I actually really like Nails' design. He's he's kind of weird and creepy, and I kind of appreciate that. It, it makes him very, very unique. Before we do this showcase, let me just quickly show you how strong this guy is when he's really, really low on health. This is 461 of the Spire. And I'm going to move here to bait all these guys to move towards me. That way they're grouped up together. So we got super low 60% health. Good thing we survived here. And we're going to use Nails' ability in the center. And uh, 36k for each of them. I was honestly surprised with the damage here. On top of the 36k, we got 5 stacks of bleeds on uh, every one of these. So these two guys that are super low health are already dead. They're going to die from the bleed damage. I'm also surprised how much damage Nails did here because his weapon right now is only level 1 and so I'm missing a little bit of health and I'm missing uh, that 30% increased damage for being stronger element. So if I had mess his, so if I had his weapon like say at least level 9, uh, I would have done so much more damage there. For his actual JB, we're going to be doing here in floor 66 of the Spire just because I feel like this is one of the harder fights. A lot of people are going to be stuck here, so maybe someone wants to see how I did floor 66 of fire, and I feel like the fact that he was able to beat this boss with a team that isn't bad, but it's not its not like the best team in the world. I'm pretty sure there's better fire teams out there, so the fact that he worked and he was able to beat this boss means that he does hold his own weight uh, as a damage dealer. Now, I do want to talk about Nails' ability to be preemptive once you break through him. It's not really that good anymore the more I think about it. I did say it was good earlier, but uh, now now in practice, there's a couple reasons why it's not that good. One, 
With this boss specifically, it's a 12 round boss fight and you could use his nails his ability every four turns. So no matter what I do, if I use a skill early, if I don't use a skill early, I'm only going to be able to use his ability three times in the entire fight. So there's no reason to use it super early. I could just use it later. Two, it's that everything about his active skill scales off your own missing health and the boss's missing health. So the fact that you're going to use it turn one, if you have it preemptive and you use it turn one, then it's not going to do that much damage because like I said, it scales off everyone's missing health and everyone is going to be full health at turn one. And the last reason why I don't like using his skill early is that it's going to be out of sync with Victoria because um, you're, they're, they're same cooldown. It's a, they're both on a three round cooldown. So if you use um, Nails' ability turn one, and then you're going to use Victoria's ability at turn four, which means you're going to use Nails' ability at turn five. So Victoria is not gonna make use of the bleed stacks that you get for, um, you know, with Nails' active ability. Here, I'm actually gonna move to a spot where uh, I'm gonna get hit, cause I, I'm, I'm like super healthy here, and uh, I wanna get hit, that way we could deal more damage. And we're super tanky, man, with Nails. Like, this usually deals a lot of damage on the other, other boss. So here, I'm going to apply bleeds, and notice how Victoria is, uh, her turn is coming next. So this is what I'm saying, it's better to use his skill a little bit later, uh, to have it in sync with Victoria's active skill, active skill, so that Victoria can make use of the bleed stacks that you apply with Nails' active skill. That way, you know, we can do a little bit more damage, man. Here, we're going to have four stacks of bleeds now, so once Victoria is going to be using her skill, I think it's 10% for every bleed stack, so we're going to do 40% increased damage with Victoria's skill, which is, you know, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good combo. Now we did get pretty lucky with the colors here. Like it's always, it's always a bunch of something. Like here, now I have a bunch of greens to go back to the other boss, because the boss is, uh, yeah, already healed. So now it's going to do its um its uh, range attack. It's gonna use Jonah's ability, because why not? It is a pretty short cooldown, so might as well. Here we're gonna run these greens, go back to the other boss. Pretty good damage on the green boss as well. And even a raw time, sick. Uh, the red boss is still higher health, so we're gonna do more damage to the red one. And by red one, I mean fire one, the top one. Now they're pretty even. So you gotta go back to the other one. This boss is pretty fun. You have to like juggle their health bars. Now in terms of cooldowns, we don't have anything here. Uh, there's gonna do your range attacks. Here, we're, we're kinda low. I feel like uh, with this team, with nails, I feel really tanky for some reason. Uh, it might have to do with, you know, every time you use active ability, increase your HP by 50%. Maybe that's it. I can't really tell. I wish, I do wish there was something in his UI that tells me how much percent his equipment is uh, is working. Like, uh, for we know that it goes all the way up to 10% increase HP, but I don't really know. Here, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna let myself be hit again. Cause uh, I'm, I'm way too healthy. I wanna I wanna do more damage. Yeah, what else? He's, he's, such a, he's such a weird character. Cause you wanna be super low, but because of his mechanics, you're super super tanky. Uh, I'm gonna use my uh, aerial here. Damn, that's so many red tiles on the wrong side, which is pretty sad. I think they're gonna heal next turn, so I'm just gonna run this blue. That way I can do some damage to the green one. Bring him a little bit closer to the red one. So now they're 55, 58, 57. So we're only 2% health on healing there. Uh, now we got a lot of cooldowns. Gonna change more tiles here. We now have uh, our... Here, I wasn't really sure what to do because uh, I didn't know who to target with my nails of skill. I kind of wish his... Uh, well, that would be a little bit OP, but I kind of wish his, his active was just everyone. Because being being a nine, and I guess that might be a little bit OP. It's a bit inconvenient to have to like do this. Yeah, I, like I don't know. Should I should I bleed the green one and then base uh, go attack the red one, or should I bleed the red one and attack the green one? Was it sure? Uh, here I'm just gonna run these tiles. Uh, Victoria's gonna be ready next turn, so we're going to be healing again next turn. Yeah, I hear I'm counting the tiles just to make sure I only do 15. 
Because uh, there's no reason for me to do more than 15. I think I go 16 here. Yeah, and I'm just like, eh. That's fine. I was too lazy to like go back for like that one tile. So with the bleed on the green boss, uh, it should slowly deal more damage. We are on the 50% threshold, which means now bleeds are better than poison. So the boss is at 37% health. It's going to be losing quite a bit of health. Uh, can't really do math right now. I'm kind of panicking. I'm just going to run this green just to take it out. And also, I'm trying to bait them to go this side because a lot of the reds are on the uh, bottom right side. So I'm trying to bait them on the bottom right side here. Now we're kind of low and I did make one mistake. I realized I was like, wait, I don't have, I can't heal with Victoria because there's no one within uh, three tiles around me. So I decided to go Aurora time here. And then that way I could use Victoria's skill on cooldown. Cause uh, you kind of have to in this fight or else you're not going to use it three times in the fight. Uh, I did forget to use Jonah's skill here, I think. I don't think that was on purpose. I think uh, that was just me panicking because I made a mistake. I use our skills here and yeah, pretty good healing. Again, four stacks of bleeds, heal for 14k. I mean, I deal damage for 14k. Now I use Jonah's skill because I forgot to use it last time. Uh, here I'm trying to think where I should go and I think they're going to do their AoE attack. So I'm just going to move here because I'm not super comfortable anymore with my health bars. I don't want to get hit anymore. That's their melee attack. And here, uh, yeah, I decided to just kill the blue one because uh, I was surprised how much damage I did. So might as well just kill the blue one. I think the boss is going to heal, but his friend is dead, so it does nothing anymore. Uh, here I'm just running the green. Get, getting close to the yellow. I ended up saving its event skill, but now that we're close to a bunch of yellow tiles, we can just convert all these yellow tiles and that should be game. Oh, also, also we got this damage. Uh, yeah, we get to use... Uh, this is the last time we're going to be using our nails. Do some damage to the boss, do some bleeds. So after this, I think I'm going to see how well the synergy of Nails plus Victoria is. And also, um, I'm going to see um, uh, how much damage Nails did just with his bleeds. Yeah, uh, just just do it, man. I, I don't know why I'm, <laughs> I'm like min-maxing here. The dude's pretty much dead. Yeah, once they're like at 9% health, they're... Or actually, is it just 10% health? Actually, yeah, once, this is just dead from the bleeds, I think. I don't have to do anything. He's gonna run away, and then he's gonna die to bleeds. 29k, that's not bad. So, what I think about Nails... He's actually a really good hero in like a weird way. He, his playstyle is so different from what I used to. So my fire team is going to be very different than my other colors. Uh, in terms of synergy with Victoria, the synergy here is actually not where I thought it would be. I thought it would be because of Victoria's equipment. I would have do more healing because uh, Nails is going to apply bleeds, but it's actually not that. Victoria's equipment is absolute garbage that I will just almost completely ignore it. The amount of healing they're getting from uh, Victoria's government doesn't really matter. It's one, their active skills work really well together. So with Nails is active, you're going to apply bleed stacks, which means Victoria's active is going to deal around 40 to 50% increased damage and increased healing, which is pretty, pretty strong. And the second synergy is actually the fact that Victoria does a lot of damage and then Nails does a lot of bleeding because uh, if you don't know how bleeding works, I want to reiterate this, bleeding scales off the opponent's missing HP. So the more damage you do, the faster you burst down the boss, the better your bleeds are going to do work. So Victoria helps in bringing the boss's health a lot lower with her chain combos and her basic attack and then Nails will apply bleeds and because the boss is already pretty low, it's going to do crazy, crazy amounts of damage.
And lastly, just by himself, he's a really strong character and making your team really, really tanky. I was actually surprised how tanky my team was. I've done this fight a lot, like in my other colors. And in my other colors, I felt really squishy. The boss was doing a lot of damage to me. Here, I even let myself be hit on purpose because I was not taking that much damage. I needed to take more damage, that way my units can do their jobs. And the fact that we're super tanky means that Victoria might be enough of a healer because we got so much health, so much defense, we don't need that much heals. And because how weak fire is in terms of healing, we only have Alice in fire and I don't think Alice is a good character. So with Nails and Victoria together, we're so tanky, we got a little bit of healing and that's all you need. You no longer need a healer in fire, which is amazing. Whether or not Nils is going to have a spot on my team, I'm actually not 100% sure yet because there are some other fire units that I want to try first to synergize with the rest of my fire units right now. So maybe he has a spot on my team. He is a very good contender to have a spot on my team, a lot better than Taki, 100%. But uh, I do want to try Joni Boom and I do want to try Leona and I want to see if uh, those two characters would have a better spot on my team. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.